To begin, I encourage all of us during the week before to commit to pray with the upcoming Mass, Sunday Mass readings individually, with your spouse, with your family, or with a small group. Study and meditation prepare our hearts to listen and to understand. We can discover through scripture prayer, footnotes, and Bible commentary what God is speaking to us today. And today we hear that God wants to have a close encounter, wants us to have a close encounter with Him. God wants humanity to accept the gift of a renewed relationship with Him. In the first reading from Exodus, Moses went up to the mountain of God. The Lord told him, Tell the Israelites, I bore you up on eagles' wings and brought you here to myself. If you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. God was essentially saying, I saved you from the wrath of Egypt and now offer a binding relationship to guide all in this Sinai wilderness to be a holy people. Set apart, consecrated to Him. Notice that God had Moses bring the message of his close, his close encounter with God so that they could encounter God at the foot of the mountain via his messenger and his presence. God was showing his love for them and calling these wayward people to himself. Are we not at the foot of the holy mountain at this mass? Hearing his everlasting message through his messengers, So we have a close relationship, an encounter with his true presence in the Word and in the Eucharist. St. Elizabeth parishioners, those present and at other Masses this weekend, you are a holy people set apart. What does the second reading from Romans say? It talks of God again, proving his love to his helpless people by sending his son Jesus personally to save the entire human race from wickedness and the coming wrath. Simply put, God did a special intervention. He chose to save us so we could be his people. Jesus' death is God's gifting of pardon and peace to those reconciled and faithful to him. God wants all liberated from sin and to have unimpeded access to his divine presence. Scriptural footnotes and prayer on these verses help us understand this. It is up to us of any age to accept the splendid gift of a renewed relationship with God. It is up to us to seek divine and human help, to remove blockages so his saving love may flow. We gain so much in union with God and being restored to his glory. Then in Matthew's Gospel, everything we have heard so far is reinforced. Jesus' heart is moved with pity like his father in our first two readings. The crowds flocking to hear him and to be healed of disease and illness were troubled and abandoned to the wolves by their prideful and uncaring spiritual fathers. They were like sheep without a shepherd, we heard. So Jesus, who came to free us, and sent the Spirit to guide and empower us, 
called on his apostles to join him on his mission to do the same as he did for the lost sheep. He gave authority to his apostles and then later the 72 disciples, two by two, which includes us by our baptism, to bring the gospel and the kingdom to all peoples. We are commissioned to proclaim in word and action, starting with our families, that the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus also gave the authority in his name to cure, cleanse, and drive out unclean spirits. Spiritual fathers and mothers, this is what we are to do for our own children and our spiritual children, our own extended families and our spiritual family here. We are to imitate Christ in our very being, to love like no other. Then those around us can't help but want to see, want what they see us receiving from God. Again, those around us can't help but want what they see us receiving from God. They want to let go of unforgiveness and the lies of the world. I see people that are hungry for sanctification and the truth. I'm sure you do as well. And I believe that we are drawn to Mass today because of who we are and whose we are. We, his beloved sons and daughters, are here for the closest encounter with God, our Father, for the ultimate banquet with his Son, to take him into ourselves, who has already taken us into him. God's compassion and grace through the Holy Spirit gives us love and peace amidst suffering and hopelessness, healing amidst sickness and pain, and mercy and pardon amidst guilt, fear, and shame. Others in the world want the same, but may not know where to go or how to have God restore them to wholeness. And our large parish, St. Elizabeth, it's a beacon of hope in the Pflugerville area. It serves all who live or pass through here to point others to him. This is why we are building up our church on this holy ground, to be a lighthouse that reflects his light, he who is the light of the world himself. He who is our North Star has his church in our humble town, guiding those in stormy and calm to get us to our heavenly home. This is our parish family of like mind that we can lean on. We can strengthen it in what we do within and beyond these gathering spaces for our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, and for those to come. What we do to support Christ's efforts in our parish campus and outside our walls will help everyone find security, grow in spiritual maturity, and lead to their purification, purity in mind, body, and spirit. All that we do is follow Christ, be Christ, and give Christ more deeply. Through a supernatural encounter of the highest kind and a renewed relationship, I hear Christ is telling us to be me, give me. Be me, give me. May we hear that and unite to be a faithful and healing community that is pursuing the Lord with passion. We can do that when we experience breakthroughs in our lives and in this community by the movement and power of the Holy Spirit. May spiritual fathers and mothers of the home start training their own spiritual muscles to help themselves and their families discover what is in the readings, what God is speaking to them. 
Mass them after Mass. Did you hear in the Mass prayers, readings? What did you hear in the prayers, Mass readings, and homily today? Persevere with them in prayer every, every day. Throw yourself willingly into a lifelong relationship with God, like you need to in holy matrimony with your children, parents, and siblings. May our hearts be moved like Jesus today. When those in our families or the crowd gathered here are troubled, to them, when they're troubled, to point them to the shepherd who calls us to share in his own blessed life, now and forever. Amen.